Hello and welcome to my channel. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a digital illustration of a photo, how to cartoon yourself in Procreate. I already have a similar videos to this, but this is my updated version and way of drawing cartoon portraits. If you will enjoy this video, please consider supporting my channel by subscribing, liking this video and leaving a comment. And one more thing before I will start, I wanted to let you know that I've created a Facebook group called Digital Art for Beginners Procreate Tutorials Draw and Share where we can meet and talk everything about Procreate. If you're interested in joining this group, I will leave link to this in the description box. Ok, now we can start. First I'm going to pick a canvas and for this illustration I'm going to use A4 canvas from Procreate. Now I have to import the photo that I will use, so I'm going to Actions menu, Add and import the photo. Now I'm going to pick my photo and it's already here on my canvas. It's ready to be resized. I'm going to make it bigger so it will fit the whole canvas. Like this is good, so I'm going to tap on this arrow tool to finish resizing. Now I'm going to open the layers and my photo is on the first layer. I'm going to trace the outline of this girl and to make it easier, I'm going to turn down the opacity of this layer. Somewhere around 50% will be good. Now I'm going to tap on the plus here to create a new layer for the outline. I'm going to be using black color for my outline. And now I'm going to pick a brush and I like to use Studio Pen from Inking. I'm going to change the brush size to 12% and I'm just going to outline the girl on my photo. I like to use the Studio Pen brush for inking because you can use less or more pressure to achieve thinner or thicker lines. So just like that I'm going to outline this whole girl. This is basically finished, but I also like to add some more texture to the hair by drawing some lines like this. So this is how it looks now, and if I'm going to turn off the layer with my photo, I have a nice drawing that I can color. It's like a coloring book. Ok, I'm going to turn my photo back on, and if I want to use my drawing as a coloring book, I have to tap on this layer and set it to reference. Now I'm going to create a new layer and move it under my outline layer. I want to use the same colors as on my photo, so I have to turn its opacity back to 100% and then I can sample colors from it. So I am on my layer 3 and I'm going to get my first color. I'm putting my finger on the coat and holding it down for a second to get this color sample. Now I'm just going to drag and drop this color into the parts where the coat is. And here something like this can happen. It means that the outline is not closed. I'm going to tap my two fingers on the screen to undo this. And I'm going to go back to my outline layer and find and fix my mistake. So the shape wasn't closed here. Now I can continue coloring. I'm going back to my layer 3, back to my coat color and I'm going to drop this color inside here. It works. So I will continue coloring the rest of the coat. When I finish with this one color, I'm going to create a new layer for a new color. And of course I want this layer to be under the layer with the outline. I'm getting a new color from photo and I'm using it to fill this area. So I'm going to keep creating a new layer for every main color on my photo.
Sometimes it's hard to pick the right color for skin. And as you can see here, there is too big of a difference between her face and her neck. I have to change color of her face. With the neck color selected, I will get a new color like that. I will move it to the left and to the top just a little bit. And that already looks better. So this part is done. This could be finished cartoon portrait if you want to keep this in simple style without shadows. But now I'm going to show you how to add shadows in two ways. So let's bring that photo back. And now I'll need this photo to be on top of everything. And I'm going to turn down the opacity to 55%. And I will start with the layer with code. So I will tap on it and again, and I will set it to alpha lock. This way anything I draw there will stay within the existing shapes on that layer. I'm going to turn it off for a second to sample the code's color. And now I will get the color for shadows like this. I will move it a little bit down and to the right. And now I will just draw the shadows where I can see them. This method is not the most comfortable because sometimes it's hard to see where you should draw a shadow. Ok, now I can turn off my photo and fix any mistakes like this one. So you can add shadows like this to every layer of your drawing, or if you feel confident enough, you can add them without using the photo reference anymore. So here, for the pens, I'm going to set this layer to alpha lock, and now I will sample the color and pick a color for shadows. And now I will just add shadows where I think they should be. I'm going to use this method for all the other layers. To add stripes to the shirt, I will turn my photo back on, get the color and draw them on layer with the shirt. When I'm doing hair, I like to add the shadows and also a lighter color for highlights. And here it is. I like how it turned out. I'm still going to add the background color. To pick the color for my background, I'm taking a sample of her cold color and I will change this to Harmony and set it to Triadic. Now I will pick one of these colors for the background. Let's go with this green one. Going back to the layers to create a new layer for my background, 
I'm going to turn off the reference on the outline layer. And I can just drop this color into my background layer. It's very bright, so I will turn it down using adjustment. Here I will turn down the saturation and brightness. And maybe I will change the hue a little bit. Ok, I like this color. Now I'm going to create a new layer to draw her shadow. Let's pick a color for shadow like this. And the brush I will use for this will be the soft brush from airbrushing. For the final touch and to add some life to this character, I'm going to add sunlight to this illustration. First I will select all the layers without the photo, background and shadow and I will group them. Now I'm going to duplicate this group and I'm going to turn off the first one and flatten the second one. Now I will create a new layer and pick a bright yellow color. And I'm going to be using soft brush for this. So now I'm just drawing sunlight like this. I'm going to change the blend mode for this layer to overlay. And I will set this layer to clipping mask. So now the color will stay only on the character. Let's turn down the opacity a little bit. And I will add here some bloom effect to make it look more like she's in the sunlight. Now I'm going to duplicate this layer and turn off clipping mask. Turn down the opacity way lower and change the blending mode to add. And to soften this I will use Gaussian Blur. So this is my way of turning photo into a digital portrait and cartooning yourself. I hope you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like and comment. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!